Most applications has one main menu which allows user to make a navigation to the component to the pages that the application provides to be accessed. So in this video, we are going to see how to use the ION menu component, which is a way that we can create one navigation panel through where user can make the navigation through how items is available to be utilized. Okay, basically every project in Ionic when based on Android programming, when based on Angular programming, has this file app.component.html. It's here in the main folder of the application, app.component.html, and here we can use the ion menu tag. Instead, we can set a few information about the menu, like where it's going to be displayed, what's going to be its name, if it has to be programmatically accessed, and where the content of the items that are going to be navigated has to be presented. In this case, the content is going to be presented in this main ION Halter outlet. Okay, and inside the ION menu, we have two blocks of elements. The ION header, which contains information about the toolbar, the title that is going to be presented when the menu is opened, and the content itself. That's the list of items in this example that's going to be presented and then user can click in some of these items and then navigate to another component. Observe that each of these address here are routes that are registered in the router uh, file here at routing.model. So these routes were previously registered and then we can use this path for navigation in the menu of our application. But here is just the menu definition. Now, for it can be utilized, we have to go to individual components that when opened, we want to have this menu available. So if you come to this login form component, we can see here that we have this kind of tags here, the ion header, and then we can say, we are going to present a toolbar, and in this toolbar, we are going to have the ION menu button that is going to be displayed in the start side, in the left side of the screen, and then we are going to present this title also. So we need to include this kind of content. In each component, we are going to navigate to keep the menu being displayed. Let's see how it works. Basically, we have here the, the application and we have this Ionic app. And this Ionic app um, name is programmed here in the component itself. It's the title we want to, to show. We could change that per component. But then look, we have here in the left side this icon from menu and it's presented in this point because we have utilized here this start position. So this is not equal to start, it says about the place where this button has to be presented. And then looks to the behavior when it's clicked, it's presented this menu with title authentication and then the options to authenticate or to register to create a new account. These two options and also the subtitle is defined in the app component HTML where the subtitle is here defined and then we can make the navigation. So if I go to register component, Okay, a new component, but we keep the menu, uh, the menu here. So I can go back to the previous component and then we can navigate to our applications, components and screens and make the user um, with mechanisms to navigate to the application. So that's the goal of this video, show how to use the ION menu components. It's not complicated, it does not demand ty TypeScript programming. You can do everything just based in the HTML files using this ION menu tag and its student tags. And also remember to, in the components, use the ION toolbar and in form you, we want to include in this toolbar also the menu button. The, the unique TypeScript programming that was 
necessary was in the route uh, file, the app routing.model file, where the, the routes had to be created. But they had to be created anyway, independently of the menu, but we can just make usage of that. Thank you for watching.